And today I'm going to do three things. My makeup inventory, my beauty budget, and the products that I want to use up for 2015. Before I start my makeup inventory, I just want to throw out there, I am an adult. I buy all my products with my own money. I am not bragging about the amount of products that I have. If you see my decluttering videos, you know that it's way too much stuff and it drives me crazy. But that's what this is for. I am trying to use things up and counting out the number makes you aware of what you've got. There are things like eyeshadows, stuff like that, and lipsticks. You know, somebody pointed out lipsticks are very small and you never know how many you have because they fit so compactly. So counting them out helps. What I am going to do is not put an ideal number. What I'm not going to do is put an ideal number of products for things like eyeshadow, blush, lipstick, lip gloss, stuff like that. I feel like if I did that, it'd just be some arbitrary number because how do I really know what the perfect number to have is? I really don't. So what I'm going to do for those is in those categories, my goal is to use everything at least once. Because if I haven't used it once, now that I'm aware of my collection, if I haven't used it once in the year, I obviously don't like it enough. So, total for eyeshadow. And this includes single eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, the shadow sticks, the duos, quads, whatever, palettes. I have 523 items. And that was crazy. I knew it filled up one drawer, like one entire chest of drawers, but they were just kind of thrown in there. Once I started organizing, and I will do a video when I'm completely done on that, I got all my single eyeshadows, single powder eyeshadows, in one drawer. However, I had 94 of them. So a lot fit in that one drawer. Um, so I'll break that down a little bit. I had 94 single powder shadows, 83 cream shadows that were in pots, 13 cream shadow sticks, 49 loose eyeshadows. Uh, I counted duos, trios, quads, and tiny palettes all together, and they were 116. Uh, all my depotted singles that were in like, you know, MAC palettes or Z palettes, I had 102. And larger palettes, I had 66. So, I mean, you can see why I can't necessarily say, oh, my ideal number is to have, you know, 20 or 40 or 50 it's just way too much to kind of knock down like that so it would just be an arbitrary number and then I probably wouldn't stick to it but what I want to do is use everything if I don't use it I will get rid of it at the end of 2015 For other eye products, I had 10 eye primers. Most of those are sample sizes. I believe only two were full sized. For gel eyeliners, I have 15, which is a lot. I think they're mostly colored, though. I think I only have two black ones. So I guess my goal on those is to get rid of at least one of the black ones I would like to use all the other ones though for mascaras I have 22 10 of those are full-sized 
and 12 of those are sample sized. However, I only bought three of the mascaras that I actually have. Everything else came from boxes or kits. For liquid eyeliner, I have 25. I have 21 just colored liquid liners, and then I have four black. So I would like to use up at least three of the black ones. Then I have 85 pencil eyeliners, and just want to use up what I can use up. I, I don't even have a plan for those. Okay, and for brow products, I have five. Three of those are uh, powder palettes. One is a pencil and one is like a brow gel thing. Uh, those all came from boxes except for uh, one of them, which is my Too Faced Brow Envy kit that I've had forever. And for like the eye brightener products, the pencils or creams that are meant to make your eyes look brighter, I have four. Um, I'd like to just have, I guess, the one pencil one and the cream for like under the eyes. So I'd like to get rid of two of those. For blush, I have 59. I have 45 powder products and 14 cream products. I'd like to use them all at least once. I think it would actually take a lot to try to use up a blush, so I'm not really going to try to do that, but I want to make sure that I'm using everything at least once. For highlighters, I have 20. Bronzers, I have four. Um, I'm just going to continue to use those down. I'm not, and I don't have a particular number. I guess I'd only really need one. So what am I going to do with other ones? I have three foundations, and that's actually pretty good, but I'm not, you know, a huge foundation person. I don't need to try every new foundation, so I would like to use all of those up. I do want to try the Revlon Photo Ready foundation, which I've read is a pretty good dupe for the Makeup Forever HD that I had in my project pan. I just can't justify buying that one again because I can only use it part of the year. I have seven BB or CC creams. I've only bought one of those. The other ones came in boxes. So I'm just going to try to use those. I don't need to buy any more. Some of them may not be good color matches for me anyway, so I might end up getting rid of some of them as I go along. I have six powders, and I would like to use up five of those. One of them is the MAC blotting powder. And I don't really feel the need to use up that. I have an almost finished e.l.f. mattifying powder in my purse. Once that is done, I'm going to move the MAC one to my purse. And I don't use it all the time. So I don't really think I need to finish that one, but I would like to finish the other ones and try to find one that I really like. I have seven face primers, um, and I'm counting the Mali Face Defender, I think it's called. It's that clear one. Uh, I'm counting that in the face primers, even though I don't really think it's actually a, a full face primer, but I am counting that in there. Um, so I'd like to use up all my little 2B ones and all the little samples that I got and just pick one or try a new one. I don't know. I haven't found anything that I really, really like. So, you know, I'll maybe try a new one once those are done.
for face concealers I have four and for eye concealers I have four. Uh, two of the eye concealers are the corrector kind of thing and two of them are just concealers. I would like to only have one of each. For the face concealers I'm just going to work through what I've got and decide later what I want to get in the end. I have two makeup removers that are actual makeup removers, not wipes. Um, I only need one, so I'm going to work through one of them and keep the other, or try to use both and get something different. I have two face sprays. One is a setting spray, one is that Urban Decay B6 prep spray, I think, which truthfully I don't even know how to use. I don't use setting sprays. I went through two of them in my project pan and I don't feel like they do anything, so I just want to get rid of both of those. And I have two toners. I would like to use both of those so I can get something different. I have 280 lip products and that is total including lipstick, lip gloss, and lip balm. So I'll break that down a little bit. I have four liquid lipsticks, three of the lip paints like the OCC Lip Tar. I have nine lip tints and seven lip liners. I have 124 lipsticks. I have 29 lip balms, 14 of those are clear or mostly clear, and 15 are tinted. I have 18 lip crayons and 86 lip glosses. Um, again, like the eyeshadows, for most of these I feel like I can't really pick a ideal number because it would just be arbitrary. So for most of it, I want to use it once, at least. If I don't use it at least once, I'm going to throw it away. Now I do have some unusual colors, like the Lime Crime stuff, that may actually only get used once, or even not at all if, you know, they're not wearable colors. So it's, if I don't have a situation where mint green lipstick would ever work, I can't use that. So I'm not going to include the odd colors, but everything else is included. However, I do want to use up all seven lip liners. I don't use lip liner. I don't, I just don't. And I think I bought maybe three of them. The rest of them came in like Ipsy and stuff like that. And I would like to use up all 14 of my non-tinted lip balm. Cat. Cat, move. Sorry about the cat. I have 39 sheet masks, and I would like to use up all of them. That is a lot of sheet masks. But I figure if I use one a week... I should be done with them sometime in the later part of the year. I have eight hand creams. And now we're getting to the kind of random categories. I just accumulated a lot of hand creams, so I need to get rid of those. So I would like to use them all. And I have 13 perfumes, and I need to use at least one. They're not the huge size bottles. I don't really buy those. I tend to get like the one ounce or the you know 1.7 or whatever they are around that size. I always get those. So it shouldn't take too much. But I also have 37 rollerball or sample perfumes. 
Uh, three of them are solid, so I'm not going to count those three. But for the other 34, I'd like to use them or get rid of them by the end of the year. Some of them I don't know if I'll like. They're samples that came in boxes or from Sephora. I try not to get perfume samples from Sephora when they let you pick three samples. But somehow the one that I picked I don't get and I get a perfume instead. <laughs> so I may throw some of them away. Um, but I would like to go through that entire thing. Okay, and that is it for my makeup inventory. It's not 100% of everything, but I might have like one face highlighting sort of product that you would mix in with foundation. And even though I don't use those that much, it I don't really see the point in trying to work my way through that all that quickly. That one's not really that big a deal. So, you know, this isn't 100% of everything, but these are the ones that were the major categories. And basically what I'd like to do is for my largest ones, eyeshadow, blush, highlight, and lip products, I want to use at least once everything in there. And what I plan to do is actually make a more detailed list of what I've got and how many times I use it so I can keep track of that. That way I can decide at the end of next year what I want to get rid of. I do have some specific products though that I would like to get rid of. The first one is the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser from Philosophy. I've just had this a while. It's a huge container. And I really like the trial size that I had of this, but once I got the big one, I didn't like it as much, so I just like to get rid of this. Then I have the Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss. And I do like this, but I've started using hair oil, and I don't need this too. It actually has like an <laughs> artificial strawberry smell that reminds me of being a kid, and I actually really like it. But I've had this for a while, so I need to use it up. And I have this Got To Be Smooth Operator uh, Soothing Luster Lotion. And like the Kenner uh, Silkening Gloss, I like this and it does a similar thing. But I use other stuff now so I just like to get rid of this. And out of the perfumes that I have, this one is probably the oldest. And it's like, you know, the drugstore kit of Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. Uh, so I'd like to use that up. It's pretty old and I don't want it to go bad. Then I have the Too Faced Brow Envy Kit. And this is actually the old, old packaging. So I've had this for quite some time. And I would like to use up some of that. It's got a wax and I don't use that. So I'm not going to try to use those. But I at least want to get most of these and this little pencil here. Uh, used up. And then the last specific product that I have that I want to use up is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I have had this for a long time. It's one of the three that I actually paid for uh, in my mascaras. And while it's never been opened, it's pretty old, so I want to use it before it goes bad because I'm sure it can still go bad in the container after a while. Okay, and that's the short list of products that I would like to use up in 2015 along with just trying to work through a lot of the stuff that's in my makeup collection without being too specific about the products. Now on to my beauty budget, which is something that I definitely need. I thought about doing a no-buy, but I tried that before and it just didn't work out. I have like this fear of missing out on something really, really great, I guess, you know. So while things that are permanent aren't that big a deal, I'm always afraid that there's going to be like some limited edition that I just have to have and then I'll feel bad about it if I get it when I was on a no buy. So what I'm going to do is give myself $50 a month and the reason I pick $50 
is because, you know, obviously by the numbers, eyeshadow is my big thing. And most palettes are in the $50 range. If they're like way more, if they're 70 or 80, I don't really need that. So I figure 50 is a good number. However, if I don't spend all 50 in that month, it's not going to all roll over to the next month. What I'm going to do is allow up to $10 of the previous month's budget to roll over into the next month. So if I spend $45 in January, the $5 that I have left over can go into February's. So then so in February I'll have $55. But if I only spend 30 in January, only 10 of the leftover 20 will roll over into February. So I'll only have 60 and 10 of it will go into my savings. So at the end of the year, if I spend nothing, the, the most I can have is $160, not 600. Because <laughs> nobody needs to spend that kind of money. But I feel like I need to give myself a reasonable amount to spend each month. Otherwise, I'll go crazy and spend way more than I need to. And, and this will give me an option to buy the things that I really want. Instead of giving myself something like 20 or 25 and wasting it all at the drugstore because I can't afford the one thing that I want. And I'm not going to count boxes in that, though I am going to get rid of Ipsy, I think, and probably Starbucks after January and maybe even BoxyCharm. I, I really don't know. It's another one of those, you know, all these people do it and I'm afraid that I'm going to cancel and then it'll be really cool that next month, you know. I guess I need to get over that. I may just cancel them all. Cold turkey. <laughs> and just deal, deal with it, because it is still expensive. I do still want to have the option to get Mimi boxes, because I do like those, but I had way too many this past year. And I know it looked like I had probably way more than I did, because they all seem to come at the same time. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit myself to two boxes a quarter. And I'm going to count that as the purchase date, not the date that it ships. So it may happen that I have something like four boxes within that time period. But if I order a box in March and it doesn't ship till May, and then I order a box in May and it ships two weeks later. They'll all show up in the the second quarter, but I didn't order them then. So it'll be when I actually order them. So, you know, I think that's reasonable enough. You know, I obviously had a huge makeup spending problem and I'm trying to curb that, but it's can't really go cold turkey on something like that. So I think this will work for me and I'm going to do my best to go through the products and use them. I am still going to be doing project pans of some kind or another and those other little things like they've got a couple finish, you know, so many products by whenever's coming up. So I'm going to still do those, still do project pans. I'm going to do decluttering probably at the end of the year when I see whether I'm using my products or not. So I'm working at it. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. I will update these things every now and again. Um, seeing I didn't have so many specific products I wanted to use up, I don't know if I will do a specific video for that or not. But I might do a makeup inventory again later on in the year and see where we are but that is everything for now and i will talk to you guys later bye